Sports Gamer. What's good, sports gamers, and welcome to part two of our sleeper series. And today we're heading up the leaders of the defense, the middle linebacker. Let's get to it. The number 10 sleeper on the list is Sam Barrington. I try not to just point out all the fast players and give you guys some variety. Barrington is one of those guys, if he was 84, 85, 86 speed, he would be top five on the list easy. Because he has 87 tackle, 87 hit power, 81 block shed, and 80 pursuit. So he can get busy in the run defense and lay guys out across the middle already. Then you see he has 79 zone coverage, and I mean, don't hate him because he's a little slow. Hit up the Packers zone and you lead for him, it won't cost much. Ninth is Quan Alexander. He's the perfect linebacker to run around and control because of his 87 speed, 86 jump, and 86 hit power. He also has 87 pursuit and 79 play rate, giving him overall pretty good numbers to work with. The only negative, if you could say that, is Alexander's coverage ratings aren't good, but won't matter as much if you're the one user controlling them all the time. Eighth on the list is Preston Brown. Just like Barrington, he's a bit slow for most people's liking, so that may get people off of him. But Brown has a quick development trait, only 23, has 88 hit power and decent play rec and zone coverage to build off of. Seventh is Jordan Hicks. Hicks has decent speed and isn't a big hitter like a lot of the guys on the list, but makes up for it with his 83 tackle, 85 pursuit, and 77 block shot. Sixth on the list is Darren Lee. At 21, Lee is among the youngest players in Madden and also one of the faster linebackers in the game. He can't cover or tackle to begin with, but has 85 hit power and 83 block shot, which you don't usually see from crazy fast rookies. The number five sleeper is Xavier Gooden. He has his own wing in my Madden Players Hall of Fame. You know there are those guys that are just easy to control, they play smooth? Well Good has been one of those guys for me the last three years. He has 88 speed and 91 acceleration so he can cover the majority of players on offense fine. And along with 87 hit power, Good is just fun to run around with and cause damage. The number four sleeper is Sewer Cravens. Cravens is the new kid on the block of linebackers. You have to make sure you know where they are when you play Redskins users or teams who have them because he always seems to make a play when I'm facing him. He was projected as a linebacker safety hybrid, so you know he's a cheat code at linebacker. He has 84 speed, 89 acceleration, 79 catch, and 83 hit power, so you can best utilize his safety traits a little closer to the line now, and can take advantage of how young he is to turn him to a beast in your franchise. Third is Deion Jones. Also among the youngest players in the whole game, Jones has 87 speed and 89 acceleration to run around with along with 82 block shed, so he isn't a trash run defender to start. And having 70 man and 77 zone coverage is good for a 25 year old linebacker, let alone somebody who's only 21. Second on the list is Bernardrick McKinney. Having 84 speed, 89 tackle, 81 block shed, and 88 hit power allows him to hold down the middle already, and all you gotta do is get his coverage stats up to turn him to all around linebacker. And Sports Gamers Online number one sleeper middle linebacker is Christian Kirksey. Kirksey is a good athlete with 85 speed and you can use him or let the computer take care of it because of his 83 zone and 78 play rate. He has low hit power and block shed range but he has such nice numbers everywhere else for only being 24 he makes it worth it and deserves his spot atop Sports Gamers Online top 10 sleeper middle linebacker list. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the vid and if you have any middle linebackers in mind that you think should have made the list, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Madden 17 content and the next vid in our series of Top 10 Sleeper Running Backs. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all. What's good people? Welcome to year two of our Top 10 Sleeper series where we go through each position and highlight the players that aren't in the upper echelon of their position or the highly touted draft pick but young buildable under the radar players who could potentially end up leading your team. And today we start with the quarterbacks. Let's get to it. The number 10 sleeper on the list is Jeff Driscoll. His strength is obviously in his running ability as he has the fourth highest speed rating in the game, added to his slightly above average throw power rating of 91. So Driscoll is not the usually fast low rated quarterback with a boo-boo arm. His only weakness is his throwing accuracy stats need to be built up a bit. His short accuracy isn't terrible, but once we start to look deeper down the field, it gets ugly for him real quick. But being one of the best running quarterbacks in the game makes the challenge of building up his accuracy worth it. Ninth on the list is Cardell Jones. I mean, he has the third highest throw power in the game at a 96 and has 81 speed. Need I say more? 
Okay, I will. The only reason he's not higher on the list is his accuracy is also going to need major work. But his is worse than Driscoll's. I mean, I bet if you combine every quarterback short, mid, and deep accuracy, he will be bottom five easy. But you can't say he doesn't have the tools to be a top QB in your franchise with some patience. Eighth is Cody Kessler. Kessler's red flag is with 87 throw power, he has a noodle arm, but has 77 speed with average accuracy ratings at all three positions, which very few guys at his age have. So at 23 years old, he has some nice builder block stacks to turn into a Chad Pennington type. Number seven on the list is Kevin Hogan. Hogan is also in the noodle arm club, 